morning everybody welcome back to another vlog i don't know what has come over me or what inspired me to want to do this but i was feeling ambitious the other day and i booked myself a 7 15 a.m spin class I don't know, I was seeing all the girlies go to these like 5 a.m. Orange Theory workouts and I was like, I can do 7.15. And I have like a really busy day today. I'm taking Layla to the vet later, we'll talk about that. But um, I just wanted to get some movement in early. So I actually tried to cancel this last night. Cause I was like, absolutely not, I do not want to do that. And it was like, it's too late to cancel, you'd get a penalty, you'd lose the, your credit, blah, blah, blah. I was like, well. I guess I'm going. So anyways, I need to head inside because it is 7.06. So I need to get ready, get my shoes, get on my bike and do this freaking spin class at 7.15 a.m. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I'm gonna feel so much better after this. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. I'm gonna feel amazing. I'm gonna have the endorphins. We're gonna have a great time. So we'll see you in an hour. Yikes. All right, we did it. I'm exhausted, but it was so fun. I'm so glad I went. Um, I don't think I've ever done a workout and been like, man, I wish I hadn't done that. So I'm really glad I did it. And I was thinking during that, I was like, maybe this can be like my new Friday routine. Like nice way to kick off the weekend. I think that'd be really fun. I feel like, I feel like, I I know this is just a me thing, but I, I so I was actually feeling like really, really good throughout the entire class. I still haven't gotten an inhaler yet, but I was kind of like modifying what I was doing. And I feel like there's no shame in like modifying a workout. I don't feel like a lot of people that I know modify workouts, but I'm not gonna put myself in a situation where I'm like, <laughs> like I can't breathe in class, you know? So I decided to just sort of like take off some resistance maybe in parts where I felt like my breathing was getting a little crazy or like if my lungs felt like they were gonna explode I like slowed down a little bit and I was actually feeling so good throughout the class like I was feeling confident I was feeling happy and then at the end of the class um they showed us our rankings <laughs> And like I was last, I was in last place in the class, I'm not gonna lie. And it really did bring me down to earth very quickly. And I do think I may want to like sign up for the classes that you turn off your monitor because I feel like the numbers thing really kind of messes me up. But also at the same time, it's like, who cares? Who cares if I'm last in the class? Who cares if like other people went ahead of me, whatever? Oh, sorry, I just got the email. I was second to last. I don't know, I'm just being vulnerable right now, but that really does bother me. Like, I don't know why I felt like I was trying really hard and I clearly was trying the least hard of anyone in the class and like that's just one of those things that makes me like not want to go back to workout classes because it's like why why are we doing this why are we like ranking each other I don't know and there were other people who were like I was sprinting when they were just jogging so maybe they caught up with me in the meantime or something I don't know maybe I'll just delete all of that I'm not sure I just like sometimes don't like being vulnerable because I feel like there's people who watch these videos who don't like me and want the worst for me and then they like take that and run with it. But anyways, um, I'm glad I did it. It was really fun and I had a good time throughout the class. It was just at the end of the class that like I kind of wasn't sure how I felt. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do next is find like a coffee shop nearby. There's actually so, so many. And I'm going to pick up some coffee for me and Drew because it's Friday and why not? And he's just now like starting work. It's literally 8, 11 in the morning. So I feel amazing. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab some coffee, go home, shower, and then we'll continue with our day. stuck at a light and I was thinking about the class and what I just said a minute ago and I'm just kind of like I'm gonna be honest with you I almost cried like I almost called Drew and cried and I was like no you know what like this is fine it's only my second time going there like I've done three or four cycling classes ever in my life and I'm just getting back into the swing of going to workout classes and stuff and so it's like I need to focus on the fact that I felt really really good throughout the class like I felt amazing I felt like I wasn't pushing myself too hard or beyond my limits if that puts me second to last in the class then who cares like who honestly cares I need to focus 
excuse me i need to focus on how i felt during the class because i was on top of the world like i said i felt amazing and just not look at those things anymore i just don't need to see it or maybe just delete it when it comes in and just focus on like the feeling rather than the statistics because i've never been about that anyway so anyway hold on i gotta turn at this light i'm just proud of myself that's all okay goodbye see you at home All right, it's a little while later. I'm home. I actually showered, dried my hair, and I did the Dyson air wrap on my hair. And then I like went and did some work. I like hairsprayed it, went and did some work for a while. And now I'm kind of going to see how it turned out after I sort of zhuzh it up a little bit. But I'm getting ready to head out right now because I'm taking Lila to the vet. She actually needs to see an optometrist. No, not an optometrist, an ophthalmologist. She has some stuff going on with her eyes. Um, She's getting older. So she got referred to an ophthalmologist. That's what we're gonna do today. We're definitely gonna need to um, get going pretty soon. So I thought I would like see if I've changed my mind about the Dyson because I really don't use it that often. So I'm gonna like, I think gently brush this out just a little bit and sort of see what we end up with. If we end up with kind of like a 90s va va voom. It's looking more Farrah Fawcett 70s at the moment, but let's see. It's not bad, it was kind of already curled a little bit from the last few days. I mean, it's really bouncy. I don't think it looks too bad. I'm just trying new things, you know? Why not? I mean, it does kind of look like I did it with a curling iron. I did use the like smaller, like the tighter of the two curling attachments. So maybe I'll do like the looser one next time. Let me try this, hold on. Okay, let's see how that did. Um, really only fluffed it up at the top. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I still think I need to like play around with it, but I think it looks cute. So I'm gonna like quickly put some jeans on. Oh, and I got a really exciting package that I wanted to show you. So we'll do that before we head out the door. All right, so got a package in mail from Jamie Page. If you guys follow her on Instagram and YouTube, she's honestly someone that I've followed on the internet for like 10 years now. And she's the sweetest. And she reached out and told me that she has a shop where she makes stickers. And I believe these stickers that she just sent are tailored. Swift themed. I'm very excited about it. So I thought we would unbox them together. I'll leave her shop link down below, but already so, so cute. Oh my gosh, the bags. So let's take a look. Carrie, I hope you love the T-Swift doodles. Enjoy them, XO Jamie. That is so cute. Okay, first this looks like maybe a bookmark and it says, hi, I'm the problem. That is so cute. A little anti-hero bookmark. I will be using that for the next time I read an actual physical book. We have her little shop sticker. Jamie Page Doodles. Oh, and then the same one, cute. Okay, so we have the same little mirror that's on the bookmark, but it's in a greeting card. I love that. And then for the actual stickers, oh my God, there's so many cute things. I see cats. This is so cute. Okay, so we have this one. Ugh, love that. It's incense on the vinyl shelf. If you know, you know from Maroon. How cute is that with the little incense burning right there? Got the record player. We have a little cat. Oh. I just noticed that the little collar tag says karma. So like karma is a cat that is freaking adorable. A little cheap ass screw top rose, another maroon reference. So, so cute. Oh, the gems. I love the gems. I'm sparkling. Yes, we are all still bejeweled. We have the same graphic that's on the greeting card and the bookmark. How cute is that? Hi, I'm the problem. That needs to go on like everything I own. We have a cute lighter. I love this flame. It's like kind of a purplish flame. I love the like sort of celestial background, very on theme. And then we have, oh, it's a cute little heart and it has healing, heavy baggage, fragile, handle with care, please. And then it says too soft for it all on the top, which I think is like a reference to too soft for all of it from sweet nothing. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I love that. Jamie, thank you so much for sending those over. These are precious. I'll leave her shop down below in case you wanna check it out. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. I need to get Layla in the car and we need to head over to her new specialty vet. It's not the first time this has happened, but there's nothing I will not do for my child. So let's do it. All right, just dropped off little Miss Layla inside the vet. She has um, some like repeated eye infections going on and there's definitely some kind of thing happening in her eye. I'm not in 
entirely sure what it is, but it was so chaotic getting here. There was traffic. My phone just randomly stopped working. Um, like I couldn't get any service. I couldn't get like bars on my phone. It was so weird. So I had to shut it off, shut it back on. Anyways, got her inside. I actually brought my Kindle with me. So I think I am going to just sit here, read my Kindle. I just filled out all the paperwork. I'm waiting to hear back from the doctor. I need to make sure my ringer is turned on. <laughs> Imagine I just like, I'm into my book and don't pay attention when the freaking call comes. And that's what I'm doing. I'm currently reading a book called Delilah Green Doesn't Care. I actually first saw this book, like maybe at Barnes and Noble one day or something and like took a picture of it to add it to my Kindle. And actually since then, a couple of you have recommended reading that book. And I was like, oh yeah, I have that. I already bought it on my Kindle forever ago. So I'm like about, how far am I into it? I'm 72% done and it's actually pretty good. It, it's a slow burn, that's for sure. I feel like there's sort of a lot of like build up to stuff um and like i kind of wish it moved a little quicker there's some spice it's a queer love story which we love it was time for me to read some wlw romance because i was just so tired of colleen hoover's toxic men <laughs> I do enjoy it um, from time to time. It's really good and like kind of you just zone out and you're reading it. It's not like super thought provoking, at least in my opinion. But this one, I just wanted to switch it up and try something new and I do like it. I like the characters, so we'll see where it ends up going. I mean, I have like a feeling of what's gonna happen, but who knows? So anyways, I'll keep you updated as I continue on reading that and as I finish it. But yeah, I'm gonna read my book, relax, and we'll try to relax. I'm a dog mom, I don't relax when I'm at the vet with an anxious dog, but I'll let you know what happens and we'll see from there. All right, we are home and I don't really wanna talk about it right now, I'm exhausted, but Layla does need eye surgery. She actually has a tumor, for lack of a better word, like it's literally like a tumor that's forming an ulcer on her eye, um, so that needs to come off, but it should be able to be done with sedation and cryotherapy. They're gonna like basically freeze it off. Anyways, I don't wanna talk about it. It's a whole thing, um, but she's gonna be fine. The doctor was amazing. I'm gonna do this thing that I saw on TikTok because I've been so curious about this. And my entire TikTok feed has become these like random recipes and I'm like, I must try them. So for this recipe, it's kind of like a fried pickle. You essentially take cheese, like any kind of cheese, and you put it in a pan and you let it like, you just do nothing, like no oil, just literally cheese in the pan, let it kind of like crisp up and then you wrap it in a Grillo's or you wrap a Grillo's pickle with it. I've never had Grillo's pickles, but I do love pickles. And like every time I watch, like my mouth is literally watering talking about it right now. I wanna make one of those chamoy pickles so bad, like the ones with the, like the fruit roll up. And <laughs> Drew's like, ah, ah, ah. I just wanted to try this. Some people say it's kind of like a fried pickle, but just a sort of different spin on it, obviously with like a cheese flavor. So we're gonna try it. From what I understand, you can do pretty much any cheese. Should I make two of them? You know no, you're gonna No, no, no. I, I want to try it, but I don't want a whole one. They just take a pan, like so. We're heating up our pizza, so what better time to try this out? All right, so don't mind me. I am literally in my pajamas. It's fine. Oh, this cheese is covered in mold. Oh, oh please. <laughs> okay, this is also not good. Perfect. O for two. Let's keep going. All right, I'm gonna do some. Three cheese blend, sharp cheddar, cold bean, and Monterey Jack, and then I'm gonna do a little mozzarella. Weird, I think I might have been supposed to put this cheese on before I heated up the pan, but I don't really know. I'm just going for it, okay? So here's what it looks like so far. I'm just going to trust the process, and then eventually we will put a pickle and like fold it over. I've never actually tried one of these pickles before, but I do remember seeing people say that it like squirts out everywhere, so. Let's actually move it. And yes, that is our ice machine that we have to take to Best Buy tomorrow to get repaired. Okay. Oh, yep, I am glad I get this here. Let's try it on its own. It smells very fresh. May. Mm. Yeah. Get your mm. ready. All right. Oh God. Now I'm gonna put my pickle down and wrap this up. This is the weirdest thing I've maybe ever done. Oh my God, I was not filming that, so sorry. Do it like this. And then you heat it up for another couple of minutes. And then you try it when it's all crisped up. 
So we'll see. That was so much faster than I thought. All right, I've let it sit out a bit. I did kind of burn some of it. It looks worse on camera than it does in person, but it's actually, you know, yeah. it's got some crunch. crunch so uh, we'll see. I was telling Drew that I probably should have just used mozzarella because I'm a little worried about the taste with like the three cheese Mexican blend, but okay, here we go. TikTok recipe, let's try it. Mm-hmm. This is different than I expected. It doesn't taste like a fried pickle to me at all. Let me know what you think. If there's one thing Drew will be, it's honest. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. It's not bad. I just don't know if I use the right cheese. I might try another one in another vlog with mozzarella, but I, think I mean, it, I'm gonna it eat it. just a little, a little overdone because like the, the finishing taste I'm getting is like, Burger. But also, I'm not a fan of like overdone cheeses. Mm. I like my cheese to be ooey gooey. Not me. Not bad. If you have these things on hand, I said go for it. We're gonna make a pizza, watch Love Island, and I will catch up with you later.